Welcome to Light the Path, the podcast that brings you inspiring stories of courage, strength, and faith. Listen in as we explore how God's love and grace can inspire and motivate us to overcome life's challenges and light the path forward. Hello, Pathfinders. Welcome back to Light the Path. I'm your host, Deborah the Queen DQ, okay? I am so thankful that y'all are here for another episode of Light the Path. And this is extra special because we're coming down to the finale of season four. So all month, as promised, you're going to have some great, great episodes to wrap this season up. And I'm just excited about it. Now, I'm bringing on a fan favorite because I had to go back into the archives, okay? Because I have today with me Ashley D. Now, she is a entrepreneur, a mother, and just an all-around yo, yo sisters, yo sis. And so you are definitely going to thoroughly want to tune in and listen up to what we're saying. Um, help me welcome Ashley back to Light the Path. Hey! Oh, wow. <laughs> With spear fingers. Spear fingers. <laughs> All right. Ashley, thank you so much for being on today. I appreciate you taking the time, especially with, you know, having multiple businesses and being a mother and just, you know, also having a self-care routine. Uh, so thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. I'm glad I can make the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. And we got to talk about it because uh, Ashley and I met, I mean, it's been years now. We didn't been. It has. We were fast friends uh, in the podcast community. Uh, Ashley had a podcast she was doing at that time. I was doing, I was just starting up with Light the Path. Um, and she was on here uh, talking about all the things that she had going on. So tell us, what are you doing now? What's going on? Fill us in. Well, I graduated last year. You know, when we met last year, I was in school. And yes. I'm yes. licensed. Yes. Come on. Licensed. I'm licensed now. <laughs> So good. Yes. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been working on this year. Just building my massage practice and of course back and forth on the road with my kids still. <laughs> yes, nothing wrong with it. I love all the cheer videos. I love their dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So what made you get into the massage business? Massage <laughs> arena. <laughs> Well, it was kind of one of those things where you, everybody already knows I started making candles. And then one day I was like, I wonder, you know, what I would have to do to own my own spa and like candles in there and sell my candles there. And plus, I also have this dream of becoming a uh, trauma therapist. <laughs> so in the midst of trying to go through psychology, it didn't work out for me. I had a lot going on. So I found something quicker and easier which is massage therapy, because I did not know you needed to go to school mm -hmm. in order to not necessarily just run a spa, but know exactly what goes on behind it. And I hate to say it like this, but you need a degree in education to rub on people. <laughs> it's a lot that goes into it that I didn't know about. So it was very interesting. So that was one of the reasons why I started, because I wanted to be a spa owner. And then I really do like to help people. And like, this is also one of the fields that really talk about mental health and how they can go around, you know, go about helping people just by just through a massage because personal touch from another human could do so much to the body and the brain. It will blow your mind. <laughs> yes, it does. It really does. And I used to, and I got, I guess I need to get back into, I probably need to go and come to your area so I can do this too. <laughs> but I used to get a massage every quarter and then I started mm -hmm. doing every six months. And then this year, I think I've only had one. I had, when I was on holiday, I ended up having one. So I definitely got to get back to it because it was so beneficial to me, especially when you're working out, um, running, all the things when you're doing, I mean, even just mm -hmm. being a busy person, having a full life, Everybody needs that time, an hour, an hour and a half to just yeah. turn the brain off. Yes. Off. Some people just use it as a therapy session. <laughs> like it's 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 an interesting field. I'll say that. <laughs> 
Well, I am so thankful for you uh, coming back on here, uh, especially with uh, your calendar being full, making time for Light the Path. But guess what, guys? We we got stuff to talk about. All these great things that Ashley's doing. She's also going to help me with another special project. <laughs> I don't know why I had to go into song with that, but so Ashley and I are partnering again, coming together to bring candles to you, you and you and you and you. <laughs> Ashley, tell them about the candles that we will be bringing, introducing only for the month of November. Okay. Like yes. this is a limited time. Now I know last time we were like, okay, we coming back with a little something, something. No, this time for real. It's only November. It's it's already been decided. And this actually came up because a couple of people had messaged me asking, was I gonna bring the candles back? Now at that time, I didn't know. <laughs> and in my head, I was like, Well, maybe. And so then I ran it through a couple of my uh, close people and they were like, you know what? I think you should do it. You should get get the candle back out there. And I'm like, hmm. But then I sort of knew all the things that you had going on, Ashley. So I was like, uh. So then I was like, uh, I don't know. And so I sent you the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> And I was yeah. like, what you think? We're going to make it happen, okay? <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> coming back again with some more candles. Tell them about them, Ashley. So this time we have two new scents. Um, one scent is to represent fall, and the other scent is kind of like a relaxation type of scent. So you want me to tell them the names? Yeah, uh, go ahead and tell have... them what they can expect. We have the fall scent is uh, pumpkin caramel crunch. It mm -hmm. smells really good, y'all. As a matter of fact, I'm burning it right now because I, I have one of my own. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I never thought I like pumpkin, but y'all, it smells good. It yeah. smells real good. Ooh, that's gonna be all around everybody's mm -hmm. face. Ooh, mm -hmm. I cannot wait. <laughs> pumpkin caramel crunch. That just sounds good. It just yeah. sounds good. Yes. Thank and you. what is the second scent? We have eucalyptus and peppermint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, calm. Come on, relax. Thank you. you know, I'm, I'm, I, the, last year was the first year that I did this. I said that I was going to go into the new year with ease. And I did not even have a 2024 plan. Usually November, December, I'm already into February of the new year. And I did not. The Lord took me another route. And mm -hmm. so that's exactly why I want at least one relaxation one in here because some people may be going into the new year with ease. I know fourth quarter is so busy and uh, full of things, but I think that we also got to remember that we got to slow down. I'm a big advocate of slowing down to speed up. I agree. And I will tell y'all one thing, if you like that eucalyptus and uh, mint, Make sure you don't have anything else to do later. Because I had somebody tell me last year, they cleaned up their house. They weren't even tired. They lit that candle and they started smelling. And next thing they know, they were asleep. And they woke up, it was dark outside. So <laughs> there's my disclaimer. <laughs> so good. So good. And look, everybody, we got to tell y'all the time frame. So our very intimate communities, uh, Ashley's newsletter, my uh, private Facebook group, all got the emails, all got the posts about pre-orders. So guess what? Pre-orders are on the way. As of this broadcast, November 5th, pre-orders are already on the way in the mail, getting ready to get shipped out. Now, all of you are in the know. So you're a little bit behind the curve. You're a little bit behind the curve, five <laughs> days behind the curve. But guess what? You can always catch up. Come mm -hmm. on, catch up with us. Get in where you fit in. Check either one of our pages for the link. Ashley, tell everybody where to connect with you at. Y'all can find me on Facebook. My Facebook name is Ashley L. Dumas. Okay. Yeah. All right. And if y'all know me, Deborah the Queen, 
Deborah Hearns Co. You're going to see the links there. They go the Instagram. If, you, if that's your jam, it'll be in the bio. If TikTok is your jam, it will be in the bio. So that's where you can find out how to get the candle. But it's only going to be for November. That's it. That's all. So get it now. <laughs> Yes. Well, thank y'all so much. Ashley, thank you so much uh, for being here. Thank you for this collaboration again. It's always fun. It's always exciting. I love your high energy. I love your personality. It's definitely contagious. And everybody, you're going to love these candles just as much as you love the ones from last year. Mm -hmm. So look, everybody remember <laughs> that sharing our experiences is not only empowering, but it can help light the path.